Today I am back at the house. I know a lot of people have been following our progress over here and there really hasn't been that many updates lately, mainly because all I've been doing is painting as evidenced by my clothing. But today I finally finished the last wall and something else important happened today. If you look behind me, all the carpeting was removed. The flooring guys met me here this morning and that's all that's left of the carpet. They cleared it all out in preparation for this. This is an engineered hardwood that we picked out and I am just loving this color. This is just like a nice variation between lights and darks and mediums and that's gonna look fantastic in here. Here are all the boxes that they brought in, a whole pickup truck load of these boxes and that's all gonna replace this whole entire area. And I think it's gonna look fantastic. So I figured today what I would do is just kind of like a comprehensive walkthrough of the house, kind of giving an update on all the painting that's been finished. Cody and I have been over here every single day just painting and trying to get it all done. And we're finally there and I kind of feel like today is finally like a benchmark day. So let's go on a quick tour and I'll show you all the stuff that's going on here. I just went through and turned on all the lights in the house so you can actually see. And I don't really have anything planned out for this so you'll just kind of have to bear with me. I'm just gonna take you around here and show you everything. I guess we'll start here in the dining room. This is the finished product. We got the walls painted. We had all the ceilings professionally painted out here and they did a fantastic job. I'm really glad that we paid to have it done just for the fact that this is such a huge area. And as I mentioned in previous videos, I really didn't want to go up over there, but they did this great job at the corners. You can see the line is just perfect, but it really looks great with the color that we picked out on the wall. It's sort of like an off white, kind of like a, a tan color. This, the reason that's kind of hanging down is we got, we got a new light for this. So we're going to replace this one out here in the kitchen. We use the same color. This is kind of the storage area. So, Apologize for all the mess, but yeah, it looks really great out here. And then you move out here into the utility room. This is that yellow color that we picked out. You don't really even need a light out here because it's just so bright, but I'm really happy the way that turned out. And as you'll see around the house here, we painted all of the doors, this brightest white of Olympic paint that we could find. We also did the moldings in the same color. Uh, they used to be completely brown and now I think it just looks so much better. And these doors are amazingly bright white. You should see the difference. I painted a half of one and I sent a picture to Cody and she was amazed with just how different it looked. Uh, since I can't go through there to that area, so we'll walk around here. Here's the living room. Again, we kept the color pretty much the same throughout the house. I didn't really want to vary it up in this, neut this neutral area where everything is kind of all connected. I wanted something kind of calm and we're going to have a lot of color pop in here. We got an awesome rug for this area right here. But again, we had this professionally done. You got the borders that are all painted white and it looks really good with the darker uh, color going around the walls over here. We painted this white. This was a brown color for this, uh, for the rail and the banister. And it's going to look really cool when everything is all finished up here. That white's going to look nice and it's going to pop. Did the same thing for this rail over here. You can see the white going down there. And then we did white on top of that, that, and then we have white going around that door. And that door looks awesome now. It's like a really dark brown but it looks really good with the white trim around it. Again, they did the ceilings out here. I'll take you back this way. This will be through the, the one hallway. Turn the light on here. This is the bathroom, nothing done in there, but I did get the paint all done. This before was a pink color. We painted this a neutral color as well. I bought a shower head for that, so that's not the way it's got, that's gonna be. But yeah, I, I painted this in here, or uh, Cody and I painted this ourselves, the ceiling in here. Um, moving over to Clark's room. All finished. This room, if, if you remember before, this room was an absolute nightmare. This is where there was wallpaper all over. Her, this room and Cody's office. Oh, I spent five days of my life in here just taking wallpaper down and it was worth it because it looks awesome. And uh, again, the borders in here are all painted. You close this door. That looks awesome. I didn't paint the closets yet. I think I may prime the closets. They're just kind of like a white color right now. So I may do that, maybe not. We'll see what I have left for time. And then I painted the ceilings in here too. Um, we're gonna leave the ceiling fan, probably change these globes out. Uh, we're not really a fan of the floral globes. And then we'll go over here to Cody's office. Completely painted, kind of a mirror image of Clark's room. You got the white borders on the side. This is sort of like a lavender color in here. And again, there's a closet over here. How that looks when it's closed up. Really liking that. I mean, this, these rooms look fantastic compared to where they came from. So next I'll take you over to uh, the master bedroom. Uh, this is probably my favorite room in the house, I'd say, just for the, the color. We were kind of going in the video pop of color. You can see what I was going for, where we kind of did each of the bedrooms in this like a, a very vibrant color. But here's the bedroom, nice light blue. I love it with the uh, brown blinds and the white going around that. 
Looks really good. I'll kind of go over here so you can see what it actually looks like because the color kind of washes out when you're against a window. Again, here's another bathroom. We got this painted all neutral. All the ceilings are done. Oh, nice and bright white. I love it. The house looks really clean. We painted this medicine cabinet white. I painted up around the mirror here as well. So that's all nice and white. Everything is just super clean. And I guess next we'll go down into the basement. I'll show you what's going on down there, which really isn't a whole lot just yet, just because they haven't done anything with the carpet. But I do have some stuff going on down here. Cody painted all of these. This was a nightmare of a job, but painted all these borders. That's basically, see that line going there? They were all brown and we painted them all white for upstairs. I'm gonna leave them brown down here because we're gonna have a brown carpet. It's gonna look really nice. But yeah, look, look at all those boards. She did a really good job painting all those. And then the one thing that I did down here, other than paint the walls white, which you saw that in a previous video, these were a blue color before that I made a mistake of painting back when I was much younger and not as wise. Uh, that was fun covering that up. But uh, in here, the bathroom, kind of disassembled this. I took the sink out. So what I'm gonna do, I, I left all the plumbing in case I ever wanna make this a bathroom again. But uh, we're gonna put a, like a board over this. So I'm just gonna use this for storage. I didn't wanna rip that out. And then the big thing, I took the toilet out. So I'm gonna be covering that up and there's gonna be carpet in here. So essentially what this bathroom is gonna be now is a storage area. I'm gonna have shelves going all the way up to the ceiling and shelves over here. And I'm gonna try to make some use of this over here. There's a medicine cabinet with a some lights up above it over there. So I didn't wanna take it out just because you never know, like we sell this place in the future or whatever happens, say we do want another bathroom, I'd like to have the option to make this a bathroom instead of completely tearing everything out. So it's just gonna be kind of like a, a bathroom turn storage closet, but I think that's for the best. So uh, that's what that looks like. Nothing too major there. So that carpeting is gonna go, the carpeting that we're getting down here is gonna cover the whole entire area. It's this sands of time, which is in my office. It's like a light brown it's going to go through there it's going to go in here and then he said he's going to run it back through here the last people only ran that back halfway so he's going to run it all the way back there and that's a nice storage area that goes under the stairs back there and then if you haven't seen this basement yet there's a pretty big area over here this area is something i'm going to be really excited about because this is going to be my studio and then workout area is going to be over here that's where we're going to have stuff i was thinking about putting a tv on the wall right there and i'll show you what i did today too this is the garage this is a, a pretty big mess i got all my mom's stuff over there in that corner this is the stuff that i removed from the bathroom down there i might sell that i'm probably going to trash that then we got some other stuff down here but this is what i did today i painted this wall this was a yellow color if i step back you'll be able to see it a little bit better i definitely like the the white that looks really sharp i like the nice clean look so I'm pretty sure that's it for the for the tour. I'm pretty sure I showed you everything. That's everything that's been going on. Like I said before, there's not a whole lot to show you just with the painting because it's kind of boring. Even just showing you the finished product, I don't think it's really that interesting. But like I said, I, I know people are following this and I kind of want to have this for my records in the future because I think it's going to be good to have it recorded. So I'm going to show you, I guess the next video is probably going to be once the flooring's done. Um, I'm going to show you that upstairs. They're going to be doing that at the beginning of this week. And then we're going to be doing the carpet downstairs as well and that's all going to be done and we're going to be moving in on august 18th so that's not too far away it's it's coming and uh, we hired a moving company for the big stuff we're going to move all the small stuff in increments as we as we go and uh shouldn't be too bad so we got a couple weeks here to kind of get everything all squared away and then we're going to be in here another big thing before i go i'm going to show you the chicken coop that i ordered this is called a stowaway horizontal shed, shed by suncast and I found this thing online. I think it's gonna be the perfect chicken coop and it's, it's plastic resin instead of wood. So I'm gonna be putting this thing together. There's gonna be videos on that. So I'm gonna have more updates here. Thanks for watching this rambling long update. I will see you in the next video.